basic repairing and how to troubleshoot, how to find fault, how to um, repair basic equipment in electronics. A 12-year-old Gambian ICT company was built on the shoulders of one man. Today has a nationwide communication network that carries the nation's financial service traffic. My name is um, Papa Yusuf Anjai. I'm the Chief Executive Officer of Unique Solutions. I would say Unique Solutions Foundation is built on technology. You know, we are a technology company, and when she, well, once you mention science and technology, it's very difficult to separate the two. So at the end of the day, that is, that is our, our focus. We have a nationwide communications network that's right across the country, including the rural areas. Um, we have a network that carries, I would say, the most important traffic in this country, which is the financial service traffic. M. Formensen. The School of Medicine and Allied Health Sciences at the University of the Gambia has been enrolling students since it started. In high With assistance the from the GPA, these young Gambians are part of a growing number, realizing their dream of becoming medical practitioners after choosing to pursue relatively unpopular science subjects at school. After being admitted, I find it like, uh, it, it will be very easy for my parents to pay my school fees, but I thought uh, like the dream of becoming a medical doctor has already collapsed. So we had uh, rumors outside that you can apply to various institutions, you know, they will pay for you to actually further your education. So like um, we applied to Gambia Ports Authority within two weeks uh, they, we, that we were actually called and that we were sponsored by the Gambia Ports Authority. I'm one of the beneficiaries of the Gambia Ports Authority. I'm like, why I chose science is that since childhood, it has been my childhood dream to become a scientist. And it has always been in me to do something associated, associating with science, I can say. And like, when I get to senior secondary school, though it was not easy because some friends will tell you science is very difficult, you will never graduate with nine credits, you hear all sorts of things. But I thank God, Alhamdulillah, we graduated with very good results. And after graduating, I would say it was also not very easy because to find a scholarship now in the Gambia is very difficult. We started searching everywhere, and when we had that Gambia Ports Authority as sponsoring science students, we, we decided to give it a try. And when we went there, we wrote uh, applications and took it there. Though it didn't take long before they called us and told us that we can go for our scholarship letters. It was like a dream come true. We were very One of Gambian pioneer science students is Dr. Ibrahim Malik Samba. Though currently retired at medical practice, he remains enthusiastic about and philanthropic to girls' education, particularly in the sciences. For development to be really effective, it has to be science education. The students must do science at school to be able to be agriculturists, to be able to be doctors, to be able to be engineers, computer science, no matter what you do. Apart from being where most of them would end up, the Royal Victoria Teaching Hospital also serves as a good hands-on training ground for those at the final stages of their university course, like Omar Daba. Omar is one of more than 90 students whose university education here in the Gambia is fully sponsored by Gambia Post Authority. Without, without them, most of us will not have even the chance to, to, to be at the stage where we are at the moment. As for now, we finished our last uh, third year professional exam, and then now we are, we are in our clinical, clinical medicine, we are from where we normally do our training in RVTH, uh, starting from our basic nosing skill, taking the pulse respiration of the patients, and then normally do work round with the senior professor and lecturers to tell us some clinical sign with the patient so that we can able to diagnose them in future as our career. In the past, we've been giving more emphasis on building schools and you know uh, equipping uh, in, uh, biological labs, you know, uh, providing scholarships, but more so on students who are studying medicine. But now, you know, we're looking at it closely. Even we're trying to give programs to scholarships to people who want to study mathematics, physics, chemistry, biology, health science. 
even the northern, the northern fraternity, you know, we've developed a lot of scholarships to some nurses, particularly the women, female female nurses, to pursue, you know, scientific science programs, particularly nursing or health, at the of the Gambia. So this year is the year of science and technology. So obviously, you know, it goes of every Gambian you know, to rally behind us and give us all the financial and moral support we need so that together with together we can build a nation. In the medical field, more Gambian doctors are opening well-equipped private clinics and offering a variety of medical services. My name is Abu Bakarja. I am a, I'm a surgeon, um, a urologic surgeon, um, and my work mainly is to um, deal with uh, problems in the urinary system uh, that uh, need surgery. Here, he prepares himself for one of his surgeries on the urinary system of a patient. The whole environment is full of bacteria. You know, we are breathing bacteria. Um, uh, whatever we touch, there are some bacteria in it. And uh, um, when you enter anybody's system, um, uh, the skin, which is a barrier to the infection, is no more there. So you can actually introduce infection into the patient and cause them very serious uh, problems. And for that reason, before any operation or any procedure that you do into patients, you must wash your hands. The technology about to be used by Dr. Ja in this surgery is cutting edge. We do is a telescope procedure, and it's a procedure that uh, um, uh, we do, um, in this case, in a patient who has a blockage in the urinary system, and we're going to operate on him without making any cuts. We're going to use a telescope with a working element in it so that we can go through the obstruction without making any cuts at all. The first person who got me interested in medicine is my mom. Um, she always said, I want my son to be a doctor. And uh, um, uh, basically, I grew up from primary school uh, thinking that I am going to be a doctor and, and, and working towards being a doctor. And, and that's how I got interested. Um, uh, later on, during my training, I found out that uh, the whole of the Gambia, we don't have uh, something called a urologist. It's a doctor who deals with the urinary system. And uh, I was able to get an opportunity to get uh, training in urology and come back uh, to the Gambia to offer this service uh, to, to, to the country. M for mathematics. Mathematics as a subject is taught in Gambian schools from grade one. It continues through to university and it's a basic requirement for entrance to any university for a degree in science. It is, however, not a popular subject choice for many students. Its importance is lost in the misconception that mathematics is difficult and not a fashionable career. The master's is in science is enjoyable and one should aim at understanding maths and doing maths as part of your life. And an important thing is we should also encourage the schools to teach maths and we should try and aim at getting good maths teachers, create capacity within the maths teaching sector so that we have very good maths teachers who would always involve the children and have maths competitions as well. And this would assist us, I hope. For most of the time, science specialists from Africa would find themselves working in the West where conditions and terms are usually better. So why have our role models decided to stay and serve in their country? Yeah, I think I can make more of a difference back home than I could in the UK. So here there are a handful of me here, but in the UK there are lots of us there, so I'll be only one of many. So I thought it would be good to come back home and you have institutions like the MRC here that really invest in their staff and help them progress in their career as well. I have chosen to stay and work in the Gambia because first I am a Gambian and I thought I should contribute effectively to science participation and that I should also help create scientific mass that would improve our participation in science, also excel in research and create centers of excellence for research. The Gambia is outstanding, we've got one of the best in Africa. 
what is the reason? Because the MRC unit working closely with the Gambia government.